the tune for this uh, beautiful hymn wasn't written by me, but by Vanessa Brody, and uh, also beautifully sung by her, much more beautifully sung than I'll be able to do so today. I've uh, had to change just one line in it to bring it up to date a little more, so I hope that anyone who knows the song and loves it will forgive me for that. Uh, I've been putting up posts about hymns that I have been saying are hymns for Christians under the cross, and if you're wondering what I mean by that, I want to recommend a little book by John Calvin. It's called Calvin's Little Book on the Christian Life. I hope you're able to, to see that. Uh, it's a section from Calvin's great work on the Christian faith called His Institutes. And this was a section of that book that was uh, taken out and was very, very popular during the time of the Reformation. And is just as powerful and relevant today. And uh, there's a, another older translation of this that's available, but it's a lot more difficult to read and this is a brilliant translation I would strongly recommend to anybody uh, by the Reformation Trust. The Gospel tells us that when Jesus rose from the dead and uh, was proclaimed and announced by God the Father as his King with all authority in heaven and earth, and then he ascended to heaven, he went to heaven as a man, uh, although still God. And he's still a man in heaven today. But through the operation of the Holy Spirit, when we believe in this Jesus, we too are raised from death and united with him in heaven as sons of God and kings to reign with him on earth. Everything Jesus went through to receive uh, this role as king uh, at the Father's right hand, he did as a man and he did for me, not for himself. The Holy Spirit in my heart gives me the gift of faith. And this faith is given to me to believe and act on what God's word says about Jesus and about me so that I can experience for myself what the Bible says about my true life, my true self being hidden with Christ in God at the Father's right hand. Crosses in our lives are designed by our Heavenly Father to lift us up from a world of sense to where we're truly seated with Christ. And this is not something that we're supposed to imagine. It is a spiritual reality. In the Psalms, God says to us, Seek my face. And Paul says that we behold the glory of the Lord now in the face of Jesus. This is not something that we're to imagine. It is actually the eyes of faith seeing what our natural eyes cannot see. It's faith rising above this world to heaven where he is and we are in him. This faith contemplates the length and breadth and height and depth of the love of Christ for us. And as we contemplate it by faith, we experience this love as a reality and in all its personalness for us as individuals. Sadly, we're so bound to this world, its cares and its comforts, it takes crosses to raise our faith to where he is and where we are and to find our greatest delight and satisfaction in beholding him. That's why John Calvin says that crosses are more necessary for the Christian than food or drink. And this hymn expresses that beautifully. The last verse says, Show me your face, the heaviest cross will then be light to bear. There will be gain in every loss and peace with every care. And in fact, the whole hymn is about putting our earthly experience, uh, our life and experiences in this world and its crosses into perspective. Show me your face. <laughs> Show 
Show me your face, one transient gleam of loveliness divine. Whatever in this world could then entrance this soul of mine. All lesser light will darken quite all lower glories plain. The beautiful of earth will scarce seem beautiful again. Show me your face, my faith and love shall henceforth fix it. a dream and all I feel and see. Illusive, visionary, you the one reality. Show me your face, I shall forget the weary days before. Till I 